The um, demography today, in particular in Asia, this is the case uh, in South Korea, in Seoul, um, has this uh, elderly uh, people trend. And we need to prepare our cities for embracing uh, this uh, uh, situation. The 15-minute city, uh, the happy proximity globally, uh, offers the um, new um, trajectory for uh, transforming our lifestyles for elderly people. First of all, to offer more local services in proximity for having a radical reduction of distances. Given that with the elderly people, we have at the same time more uh, mobility uh, limitations. We need to surround the elderly people with more uh, services. What kind of services we need? We need uh, cultural activities, theater, cinema. We need to uh, propose um, a, a delivery of uh, books uh, instead of people should go to the library. Uh, the books will uh, come to uh, people. Uh, medical services are essential as well for offering a good health to elderly people. Of course, medical, physical services and mental uh, health services. But we need to go beyond. One of the ways for improving the quality of life for elderly people is the co-living. The co-living is this capability for uh, living together in an intergenerational way. Um, we should fight against uh, loneliness and depression, the mental illnesses. For that, we need to diversify the people that uh, will generate interactions of uh, elderly people. And for finishing, the um, remote technologies, the ubiquitous technology, are very important as well for using the video conferences, for having contact with the uh, different members of the family, uh, friendships, uh, and others. We need to fight against uh, depression and loneliness, and for that we need to surround it with the physical, emotional, affective, and technological uh, contacts and relationships. The 15 Old City is this proximity. It's a very, very good example for having this happy proximity. We wanted to do a, a zoom as far as this uh, intergenerational uh, question. Uh, I think uh, that for the next uh, generations, the intergenerational links uh, is uh, uh, today one of the most relevant points for um, offering a most um, harmonious, uh, more uh, balanced uh, society. The intergenerational links um, are, in fact, uh, four different topics. The first one, the daily life, to generate uh, this kind of co-living in order to uh, offer a more vibrant and uh, humanistic relationship to elderly people. But we need to uh, foster as well a, a second point, the uh, transmissions. Transmission is uh, to offer to elderly people uh, to uh, uh, transmit 
to the young generations, uh, lessons of life, uh, experiences of life, um, a lot of uh, different uh, uh, history through the different uh, um, period of uh, a life uh, to develop uh, this collective memory uh, for uh, uh, involving the young generations uh, in this uh, uh, more uh, globality. Um, the first point is to um, develop the new business model in cities for promoting towards elderly, uh, elderly people uh, the new um, ways for acting. For example, elderly people has more useful time. This useful time could be uh, used for uh, developing uh, different activities with uh, children, uh, for uh, <coughs> uh, teaching, uh, for uh, transmitting uh, different uh, knowledges. Uh, and the fourth, the emotional feeling. Elderly people has the possibility for offering a emotional behavior for um, uh, identifying the essential problems or the superficial problems. Young people not necessarily uh, with the mental conditions for identifying a, a dramatic problem of the a superficial problem. Elderly people has a lot of experience in life and for that this is possible to manage a more a strategic a emotional behavior in this uh, 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 transmission. The 50 Minute City, <clears throat> in fact, for elderly people, uh, um, is one of the uh, important uh, elements of this uh, global uh, tapestry. P in proximity in, for elderly people is not only uh, distances. Proximity, of course, uh, through by uh, distances, uh, given that the different mobility problems of this uh, kind of age. But in our vision on proximities, we have a lot of different other proximities. Proximities of knowledge, uh, affective uh, proximities, technological proximities, community building, proximities. Elderly people, in fact, is at the, are at the core of this lot of different new uh, uh, proximities. And at the same time, the elderly people are a kind of people um, so impacted by loneliness and the effect of uh, loneliness. Proximities are a good way in this decentralized um, a vision uh, for taking a benefit of the different more services provided within a short perimeter for the different uh, segments of elderly people. Elderly people is not an homogeneous segment of the population. We have a lot of different elderly people. We could have Elderly people in very, very good health uh, um, uh, life. We could have uh, elderly people in the, with illnesses, the disabled. Uh, we have uh, elderly people with a lot of experiences and knowledge. Uh, we could have elderly people with uh, less uh, chance in their life. We need to consider the, um, this heterogeneous a kind of uh, uh, segment of uh, population. For that, uh, we don't have a, a unique way. 
we need to consider this complexity for embracing the different uh, expressions of uh, elderly people and to adopt with the 15-minute city a lot of different uh, services customized for the uh, different uh, kind of uh, elderly people.